Hi, I'm Patrick Jackson, and I would like to read from one of my very favorite novels, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, which has been um, banned for um, banned many times over the years. Um, it's a novel about World War II pilots, officers in World War II, and one of its main characters, Yossarian, um, uh, begins the book in a hospital where he's convalescing, um, and um, while he's there, he's being asked to censor the letters of enlisted men who are also at the hospital. So this seemed kind of appropriate for our banned book reading, and I think it offers a, a little bit of satirical commentary on censorship itself. All the officer patients in the ward were forced to censor letters written by the enlisted men patients who were kept in residence in wards of their own. It was a monotonous job, and Yossarian was disappointed to learn that the lives of enlisted men were only slightly more interesting than the lives of officers. After the, after the first day, he had no curiosity at all. To break the monotony, he invented games. Death to all modifiers, he declared one day, and out of every letter that passed through his hands went every adverb and every adjective. The next day, he made war on articles, he reached a much higher plane of creativity the following day when he blacked out everything in the letters but a, an, and the. That erected more dynamic interlinear tensions, he felt, and in just about every case left a message far more universal. Soon he was prescribing parts of salutations and signatures and leaving the text untouched. One time he blacked out all but the salutation, Dear Mary, from a letter. And at the bottom, he wrote, I yearn for you tragically. A.T. Tapman, chaplain, U.S. Army. A.T. Tapman was the group chaplain's name.